In this video, I will show you how to make a solar powered mason jar lamp, a fun DIY project that's perfect for learning about renewable energy. This updated version features a new PCB with an integrated battery holder, making the build super easy and quick. It is very useful during the camping. You can also use for different applications like reading or decorating your lawn or garden. So guys, without any further delay, let's move to make the project. This video is sponsored by Altium. Altium 365 has introduced a fantastic integration with Silicon Expert. Now you can access all the component data directly from the Silicon Expert within your design environment. Here is a quick demo. In Altium 365, go to the panel and select manufacturer part search. Search for any component you need for your project. Then click on get data from Silicon Expert. And you will see all the important parameters of the component in one place. Guys, if you are a student in India, I have a great news for you. Altium recently launched Altium Student Lab. Sign up with your email ID and institution name and you will get access to Altium 365, online courses and even a certificate to enhance your electronics design career. Now let's move to the project. I have designed my PCB on Altium 365 and ordered the PCB from PCBWay which is the sponsor of this project. You can order high quality PCB at only $5. Apart from the PCB manufacturing, you can also use their other services like PCB assembly, 3D printing and CNC machining. First you have to gather all the materials required for this project. You can order the PCB from PCB way. The link is given in the video description. Let's assemble the PCB. First I am going to solder the diode. The silver band on it indicates cathode. This mark is also shown on PCB. After soldering the diode. You can trim the extra legs by using a nipper. Next I will solder the inductor. The inductor plays a key role in this circuit. It helps in storing and releasing magnetic energy in the process of stepping up of battery voltage to higher voltage to drive the LED. Next we will install a 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor. The capacitor is used to smooth out the high frequency voltage spike and make a steady voltage at the output. The IC QX5252F is the brain of this solar lamp. It charges the battery from solar panel protects the battery and drive the LED. The four pins are very close to each other. So before soldering, you have to stretch them out. Next we will solder the slide switch. The slide switch allows the lantern to turn on or off. Next we will install the LED. You can use a variety of LED in this PCB. I will show you in a minutes. The flat side of the LED on the PCB marking indicates negative terminal. During soldering, be sure the polarity is correct. The beauty of this PCB is that you can use a small string LED light instead of the single LED. The JST connector is used to connect the solar panel to the PCB. Be sure it is soldered onto the bottom side of the PCB. At last solder the two battery clips onto the bottom side of the PCB. In my earlier solar mason jar project, I have used a separate battery holder to hold the battery. Now our DIY solar jar PCB is ready for use. Install a triple A rechargeable battery. Here I am using a nickel metal hydride battery. During installation, be sure the polarity is correct. Now let's have a taste of the PCB with different type of LEDs. I have designed a customized solar panel for this mason jar project. The size of the solar panel is perfectly matched with the mason jar lid. 
you can buy the solar panel from the link given in the video description. Now we have to drill two holes at the center of the mason jar lid to pass the JST connector wire from the solar panel into the jar. Next we have to drill two additional holes for mounting the PCB standoff. Before installation smooth out the sharp edges by using a hammer. To mount the PCB onto the mason jar lid, I have used two PCB standoff. The size of the PCB standoff is 20 mm. Pass the JST connector wires through the holes made earlier. Then solder them to the solar panel soldering pad. Be sure the polarity is correct. The red wire is positive terminal. Then mount the solar panel by using silicone glue. Leave it idle for a couple of hours for making a perfect bonding. Connect the solar panel JST connector to the PCB board. Align the PCB over the PCB standoff and secure it by two nylon screws. Now our solar messenger lid is ready for the installation. Slide the switch to the on position and close the lid. You can test the lamp by covering the solar panel with your palm. You can see the LED will turn on. The step by step guide of this project is available on Instructable. The link is given in the video description. Before the first use, it is highly recommended to charge the battery. Use your own creativity to get different lighting effect from this lamp. Here I have used some acrylic pebbles to get the glittering effects. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to share it. Please subscribe my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you. Have a nice day.